Saturn's moon Titan is probably the most fascinating object in our solar system. It has a number of extremely strange properties, looks breathtakingly beautiful and has always surprised scientists since its discovery in 1655, but let's leave it up to you to be dazzled by this moon. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn and the second largest in our solar system, after Ganymede a moon orbiting the planet Jupiter. It's the only moon in the solar system with clouds and a dense planet-like atmosphere. Scientists believe that conditions on Titan are similar to those in the early years of our planet Earth. The main difference being that Earth has always been warmer because it's very close to the Sun. A NASA representative said in many ways Saturn's largest moon Titan is one of the most Earth-like planet we've found so far. Titan's atmosphere extends to an altitude of about 600 kilometers much higher than Earth's atmosphere because the atmosphere is so high that Titan was long thought to be the largest moon in the solar system. It was not until 1980 that Voyager came across enough to discover that it is actually smaller than Ganymede. Titan's atmosphere is active and complex, consisting mainly of nitrogen 95% and methane 5. Titan also has organic molecules containing carbon and hydrogen which often include oxygen, and other elements similar to those in Earth's atmosphere and essential for life as we all know. There is an unsolved mystery surrounding Titan's atmosphere since methane is broken down by sunlight. Scientists believe there is another source that replenishes the lost methane. One possible source of methane is volcanic activity, but this has yet to be confirmed. It's therefore possible that Titan's atmosphere escapes into space in a manner similar to Earth's atmosphere. The Cassini spacecraft has detected polar winds that pull methane and nitrogen charged by interactions with light out of the atmosphere. Along Saturn's magnetic field a similar process is believed to be occurring on Earth with our own magnetic field on Titan. Cassini and Huygens have shown us one of the most Earth-like worlds we've ever seen. Hydrologic cycle what I think is really special about Titan. It has liquid methane and ethane lakes and seas which makes it the only other world in the solar system that has stable liquids on its surface. Not only does it have lakes and seas, but it has rivers and even rain it has what we call a hydrologic cycle and we can study it as an analog to Earth's hydrologic cycle. It's the only other place in our solar system that has those features. Large areas of Titan's surface are covered by hydrocarbon sand dunes. The dunes on Titan can resemble the Namibian desert in Africa. Because methane exists as a liquid on Titan it also evaporates and forms clouds occasionally causing methane rains. Clouds of methane ice and cyanide gas float above Titan's surface. Titan continues to amaze with natural processes similar to those on Earth, but involving materials other than our familiar water. Not all atmospheres are created equal as more planets have been found outside the solar system. Titan has served as a model for cloudy celestial bodies. Studying the moon's atmosphere has helped scientists understand those of more distant systems it turns out. The Cassini spacecraft completed its two-decade mission to Saturn launched on October 15, 1997. The spacecraft reached Saturn on June 30, 2004. Upon arrival Cassini launched the Huygens spacecraft built by the European Space Agency. Huygens was equipped to study Titan landing on Saturn's moon and eventually yielding astonishing results. Many mountains over 10,000 feet high were identified on Titan. The Huygens probe landed by parachute on January 14, 2005. Because of the Huygens observations Titan became a top priority for scientists. The mission achieved outstanding results such as capturing the highest resolution images ever taken of that moon's surface. A new Earth it's believed that conditions on Titan could make the moon habitable in the distant future.
If the sun increases its temperature in 6 billion years and becomes a red giant star Titan's temperature could rise to the point where stable oceans exist on its surface at least according to several calculations predicting further development. If this happens conditions on Titan could resemble those on Earth allowing favorable conditions. For some forms of life experiments on Earth suggest that Titan may be more habitable than previously thought. Complex organic chemicals, once thought to be suspended high in the atmosphere, may be closer to the surface than previously thought. Titan's name comes from Greek mythology. The Titans were ancient gods who ruled the universe before the Olympians came to power. It was discovered in 1655 by Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens. Huygens was the first human-built object to land on Titan's surface. Some more interesting facts about Titan is that its diameter is 50 times larger than that of Earth's moon. Titan is also larger than the planet Mercury but has only half the mass of the planet. Titan's mass consists mainly of water in the form of ice and rocky material it also has no magnetic field. Do you think that humans will be able to live on Titan someday or do you consider this completely impossible? If you really like our videos feel free to support us with a thumbs up and also subscribe Space Bites to never miss any video updates.